Hello, welcome to the next round of Sweet Dax or Pioneer. And honestly, I'm it's kind of gotten me a little bit more worried. Um, it definitely looks like there is less tier one decks, which also is kind of weird, okay? Um, so I believe in the other for modern, like a 5.48% was tier one. So I, I don't understand why they're tier two. Like it's kind of like deflating uh white weenie and angels that you know clearly have been putting up some numbers. And they definitely have been on the drop. White weenie's coming back. Um Raptor's mid range is on the skyrocket. I don't understand. Um I thought Azor's control could definitely combat it, but clearly it's not doing what it's supposed to. And uh Lotus Field also is pretty good against Raptor's mid range and Azorius control, which is why it's tier one. And uh, Green Devotion, Gruel Vehicles on the dip. So, a very quick introduction into the current form in the meta. Get into the decks. We have three to talk about. Number one, we have Mono Black Devotion. Now, the key thing that just screams out at me when it comes to this deck is there is no Shield Rid, which is kind of interesting. We have the old traditional route, which is Underworld Dreams, Peer in the Abyss combo, which is kind of cool. I'm going to be playing something like that next season. Mono Black, definitely not this build. But, of course, I'm going to be playing more for Frixian Obliterator. But Me Hook Masker is pretty good in a, in a Mono Black Devotion. Um, Talisman, I'm not really sure about. But we have Agadim's Awakening, Thoughtseize, Fatal Push, the best black cards in the format. Liliana the Veil, pretty reasonable. I do like the Leyline of the Void main board. It does hate on some decent decks, as well as it gives you two free black pips. So, two cut downs. I'm not really sure if that's actually going to be good enough in the format. There's got to be a better removal. Like, even Ray of Infimblement, whatever that card is, is definitely, I think, better than this. We have three Duress for the control matchup. Aetherborn, three of. For aggro matchups, we bring it in, gain some life, kill their threat. Much better than Thoughtseize in that regard. We have Ashiok as a way to hit our graveyards in addition to the Leyline of Void. And it also adds Black Pips. Murderous Rider if we need a little bit more removal. And we have two Sorns for the grindy matchups, like Control. Then we have Invoke Despair, also for that same kind of a matchup. Also, I find this card very good against um, Mono Green, right? Because traditionally, you can easily get um, a Planeswalker, an Enchantment, and hopefully a Green Cavalier. So, I think this card is actually relatively good against that matchup, and it's good in Control and other matchups like that. So, I really like this list. I think this list is pretty good. You could definitely... Of course, add some new Frixie all, all will be one cards in this list and spice it up a little bit more if you so choose. Next list. So next on my list is the deck that I played recently for stream. And I'm not exactly sure about this list. It really piqued my interest and I was excited about trying it. Uh, the one thing that I think is really awesome about this list is Nykthos makes this kind of like a snowball uh, goblin strategy with Snoop, right? You just keep casting the Snoops and hopefully you can just snowball this, untap it, hopefully, and just keep going. But my issue with the deck that I noticed was if you don't have Nick, those, the deck is kind of not up to par. One thing I think this deck could try, I don't know if it could do it, is maybe Splash Green? Ringleader is a decent card, but is it, honestly, is it better than Realm Walker? That's what I'm not sure of. And as well as you could even do um, Collect a Company, which would work quite well. Make you dig for your best goblins and go to town. And the other weakness that I found with this list is the uh, the one drops aren't very aggro centric, right? Like, uh, it's just so difficult to get in there. If you're chipping away like Mono White does, which... Honestly, it has a better early game, it feels like, than this deck. I did take out Wily Goblin, and I personally tried the um, Ember, right? So that way I could sack it. Ember Hauler, deal two damage. 
that never really came up. So maybe Goblin, might, Wily Goblin might be just better. And the other thing I did was I trimmed a mountain and I think Sask again for uh, a couple copies of the red deal X spell, double X and it's a land on the back. So I really think that was a definitely a net positive for the deck. I think that really improved it because we're able to spot remove two big threats out of the way against angels and just smash them face. Now what really made me want to try this list is how good the the cyborg is designed for the current format, right? We have Volley for Mono White, which is a heavily played deck. We have Alpine Moon to hate on um, Lotus Field, which is also a tier one deck, as you've seen. We have uh, Firebrand for the Elves that we could bring in. And then we have uh, Chain Waller also for the Elves. We have Hearth for Graveyard Heat, Ringleader for grinding matchups. But honestly, um, I think the main board had more problems than the sideboard. Ringleader, I'm not really sure about. I guess I really do think maybe um, Realm Walker is just a better choice. Because with Nexos, you're able to just keep casting spells off top of your library. And I think that would be a huge improvement with this deck. But let me know down in the comments if I missed something with the Goblin list. I want to know. The link is in the, it also is in the description like everything else. And let's get into the last deck. So the last deck I'm going to discuss today is Teamer, basically Emery, Magda, Kitten combo, right? So the goal of the deck, of course, is keep recasting Courier um, with Emery, with a Mox Amber. You should be able to go pretty much infinite with infinite sack triggers. And uh, the deck has Paradox Engine to keep on tapping. So it really should work. We have a Might Stone and Weak Stone for card draw, removal. So the deck looks like it should be able to be functional, win you some games and FNM. So if you're interested in more of a combo strategy and you don't want Jeskai Ascendancy uh, or Lotus Field, try this list. It might might be the uh, deck for you. Sideboard though wise, we have a lot of Karn board cards, Cityscape, <laughs> Weak Stone, Sky, Sky Sovereign, a Paradox Engine, which is our combo piece, um, Statue. I'm not really sure what this is for. You may play it, return something. I'm not really sure. It does keep what you resprock Karn, arming the uh, Paradox Engine, which is kind of relevant. With Reservoir, which is your primary way to win the game. Uh, we have Portal as a way to return a creature we have to our, our hand and keep recasting it. Mystical Disputes for Control. Negate as a way to fight control, as well as black based stacks, which have a lot of removal. We have Pithy Needle for Karn, and then we have Tormod's Crypt. We can get with Karn for Graveyard Hate for free. So that brings us to the end of this video. If you like this kind of content, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and uh, until next time, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.